This is one of my favorite swerves in the entire Bible, is that Joseph has come before this king, the most powerful man in the world, and he turns to him and he says, all right, I can't do this, but God can. And he goes through and explains these crazy dreams that he's having and everything that's going on. And Pharaoh has to be looking at him and all the people have to be looking at him. And at some point, sometime, you have to wonder if they can't be thinking, this guy's crazy. But that doesn't happen. In fact, when they listen to everything he has to say, they realize that this guy gets it. And the reason this guy gets it is because he is blessed and he is touched by God. Now, Pharaoh knows at this time that he is seen as a God. And how he leaves this earth is how he is going to spend eternity. At least that's what they're taught. So he is going to listen to someone that he believes is being touched by God because he wants to live well in the afterlife. So he not only says to Joseph, I agree with you. He turns to Joseph and says, here's the keys to the kingdom. Do whatever you got to do. Handle it. I know this is going to take place over the next however many years. You get to handle all this because you are literally a person that is touched by God. But think about this for a second. There was something different that was about Joseph. There was something about Joseph that made him realize that it was God that was speaking through him. And there was something about him that made him attracted to the things that Joseph was doing. Not just from an eternal standpoint, but also from a now standpoint. And in our walk, we are the very light that people will see when it comes to God. How are we showing ourselves? Are we being a reflection of the light of God? When people see us, what is it they see in the good times and in the bad times? Do we separate ourselves? Do we get people to say, mm, there's something different? Or unfortunately, are we doing more of what the world is doing and that's just fitting in? That's a tough question to answer. It's your question and it's mine. We'll see you tomorrow.